Close to nature is close to your world. Myron Homes, Cherubic Farms at Chevella, double seven double nine nine four nine one zero four. Namaskaram. I'm sure that all of you are uh, eagerly looking forward, and I'm sure it will also be on my part to highlight the fact that to achieve the government has taken many initiatives. And to achieve Mahatma Gandhi's dream of Grama Swarajyam, the Andhra Pradesh government has set up 15,004 gram ward secretariats that we are all aware of. That had become an epitome of grassroots governance uh, and delivery mechanisms, not only across India but also uh, globally too. So for which. One lakh twenty-six thousand seven hundred twenty-eight posts. I repeat, one lakh twenty-six thousand seven twenty-eight posts were filled in two phases, for which the recruitment examinations was done uh, conducted by the Andhra Pradesh Public Service Commission. Thereby, the APPSC undertook recruitment exams for an unprecedented one lakh thirty-one thousand. 364 posts, jobs, government jobs in the last four years, which is another historic milestone and an achievement for which we are very proud of. Now, not stopping at that, the commission is getting ready to notify another 1,199 posts, which comprises of CDPOs. Degree college lecturers, deputy education officer, assistant environmental engineers, librarian, assistant librarian, etc. Shortly, very shortly. I may also take this opportunity to also mention about the Group Two scheme and syllabus. We are all aware that uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, anticipation with regards to the Group Two notification. पर चाला मंदी बाईटा कोड़ा चाला ओपी का तो ये दूर चूस ना रो ये ग्रुप टू नोटिफिकेशन को रिंची रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन ए डिसीजन दैट ग्रुप टू नोटिफिकेशन विल आल्सो बी इश्यूड वेरी क्विकली और ऑनरेबल सीएम का रुकड़ा इन आवर डिस्कशंस एंड रिव्यू मीटिंग्स ही हैज बीन वेरी पर्टि� so we are expecting that very shortly, Group 2 notifications. Now, the Group 2 scheme and syllabus have also been revamped, as you all know, in order to incorporate a higher degree of rationality and to eliminate duplication, along with a greater emphasis on current topics, including Indian society and science and technology. Uh, previous scheme had three papers. Now, that has been replaced by only two papers in the mains. This is to, to order to, in order to eliminate duplicity and redundancy. Mana syllabus ne kuda manam relook ches namu. As part of that, uh, we, this also has been uh, revised. And this is again uh, has been a very popular demand since very long. That a syllabus there is a lot of uh, repetitions and then duplications. And then a little amount of redundancy also within the syllabus. As I said, uh, and the Public Service Commission will also be shortly recruiting, uh, I mean, conducting exams for the assistant professors 2020 posts, 220 junior lectures for universities and IITs across the state of Andhra Pradesh, which is happening after a gap of 17 years. Uh, this is also another historical milestone. We are all aware that uh, the universities in Andhra Pradesh uh, have, has, they have been facing this challenge of uh, shortage of uh, regular uh, assistant professors, associate professors and professors for which recruitment was last done in the year 2006. So 2006 Tarawata, 17 years Tarawata, ye recruitment jaritadi. 
so there is a lot of uh, gap which had created as a result of uh, uh, this recruitment not happening for so many years in the academic arena, uh, in the academic field in the state of Andhra Pradesh. That is going to be addressed now very soon. Uh, in the next two months, I think, uh, I think very soon I, I understand that uh, APSHE and the government AP Higher Education Department will be issuing the notification to this effect. And APPSC will be supporting this process by conducting the uh, exam, written entrance exams. As I said, that will also be another milestone uh, as regards APPSC and the government of Andhra Pradesh is concerned. Uh, and as I said further, please note that another <coughs> round of Group 1 exam along with Group 2 will also be uh, held for which notifications will be issued very shortly. Just to refresh your uh, memory, the last Group 1 notification was issued on 30th of September 2022 and today we finish that process. So the next notification should be coming again by September uh, or very shortly. So I would only appeal and request all the candidates, prospective candidates, youths who are aspiring to, for uh, appearing uh, for these exams, entrance exams, who are seeking employment, government jobs, that they should be prepared. Last year, the result declared on the 5th of uh, July uh, 2022. Uh, previous group one notification of 2018, they were going to complete four years. Last year, complete chase the Pudu result is Chinapudu Mano Annamu Taragalo Group One notification was the day Anduru Tayar Awali and Chepi at Chepin Pragaranga 30th uh, September low a notification issue jari, uh, it was issued and today is the culmination of that. Now, please be prepared for the next notification because the government has already undertaken the exercise uh, of identifying the post and the recruitment processes. Uh, so it is on the pipeline. Uh, very soon we will be hearing this uh, good news. So all candidates, uh, they may be prepared for both group one as well as group two. I also take this opportunity to appeal to all these aspirants, all the aspirants, the youth, everybody that once again not to listen or not to get carried away or swayed by any kind of rumors any kind of uh, malicious uh, propaganda either mana social media lo kuda edo petadam anadam ankodam lepothe baita kuda koni vargalu kavalani creating this kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, confusion in the minds of the prospective candidates. So they should not get carried away by that. You have already seen, you have already, you have demonstrated, and be prepared for what is likely to come again. It is always a challenge to make uh, the examination system an efficient and transparent process Minimizing subjectivity and uncertainties. Purumar propanchum lagoda ekkoram chuste pudu gada examinations, particularly recruitment, entrance exams. Ante it's a big challenge for whoever conducts it. How to make sure that it is done in a very efficient manner? How it is done in a in a manner where there is no uncertainties in in terms of the outcomes, whether it is the quality, whether it is, uh, you know, the success, selection process, uh, evaluation process, whether it is the timelines, time-bound manner. So, e process, there are various stages in the processes. So, it's always a challenge to see that how we can 
uh, Im improve the efficiency, how we can bring in, you see, in a very scientific manner, see that the subjectivity and uncertainties are eliminated. It should be very predictable and not just a matter of luck. Luck baavundi kaapati vachchi sharoni, alanti kaakonda. It should be very predictable. Those who are uh, who who have prepared well should also be uh, acknowledged appropriately. So it will be an end. It's a it has been a constant endeavor of APPSC to reform the process. A process manum study JC. Everything we want to improve, change, all that. Everything we want to reform, this kind of thing. The process is slow. Various stages of the process. That's an ongoing uh, effort and endeavor from the APPSC to make it more scientific and accountable, so that the most deserving and the fittest candidates get selected for government jobs and to the civil service to serve the society better. Ultimately, the objective is twofold, not only a source of an employment for the youngsters, but also this is how future prospective civil servants of the society, people who will serve the society, to serve the people of the state and to serve the people of this country are selected. So our process, the enta, uh, enta merivu chayale, enta efficient ga chayale, enta uh, predictable scientific challenge our process loan number we have also formed uh, committees within the Public Service Commission to study each and every stage of this process so in Karabina Rose you will also come across that uh, still there you see we have tried to really ensure that the processes are uh, to try to perfect the processes so our flow process lo manam perfection laga vachinamu dan valana mana ee time bound ga manam deliver you are able to deliver but still there are some areas in terms of qualitativeness a evaluation quality the gurinchi kuda manam ee area kuda dan gurinchi kuda manam ipudu we are studying and seeing how we can improve that process we have also seen the best practices across the country various public service commissions law, what is the practices that they are adopting, including all the digital processes. Uh, various digital methodologies also have been studied. Uh, we are also studying the UPSC pattern and a method, and we want to really adopt uh, the best possible uh, method. So towards that direction, I'm sure that in times to come, uh, you will be witnessing uh, as what we are uh, been, we have been stating uh, towards a better and very efficient deliveries. Thank you, Jai Hind. Yes, Andy. Arthangal. One ten. What are the categories? Which one ten? Oh, okay. Are the Adi Miku, we will circulate to you. So, 110 law, broad, broadly, deputy collectors 13, uh, DSP civil 13, CTO 13, Tarvata uh, ATO, Treasury officers 11, MPDO 16, Idi Mukhinga, large chunks. E, 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 e 111. This statement could we will circulate and distribute to you all. Okay. So friends, uh, is there any more questions? I'll take one here and then lady there. Please. Uh, Manu, three boards was constituted and in eight days, eight sittings, um, we have completed all the 220 at the rate of uh, 10 candidates per board in a day. Yes. So five candidates in the morning, five candidates in the afternoon. Padi candidates at the rate of half an hour per candidate on an average. Highest marks are not the depth of the depth.
much chapter only. We will we'll not, we'll satisfy you this time. Okay, yes, ma'am. Have you already told, like, after, two, after so many years, the recruitment is happening now? Yes. Why we can only see few four thousand? No, we had a very large chunk last time. We had about 300 and, uh, uh, sorry, 167 posts last 2022. So this is 111. So we'll see another similar figure. You see, ideally, uh, every year, uh, the recruitment process, if not every two years, it should take place. Because the batches should be in a smaller number uh, if you look at the cadre management of the civil service in any state, whether it is All India Service or whether it is a state civil services, the batches should not be very big. Uh, batches should not be, you know, like, uh, it should not be conducted once in three, four years when there is a big accumulation of numbers. Then what happens is that inter se parity within the batch also uh, will be very skewed. You'll see the first few numbers in the batch gets promoted and also gets into all India services like IAS, IPS, whereas the junior uh, most in the lower in the number, in the ranks, within the batch, they have to wait three, four, five, six years. So this kind of disparity also comes about. So it's always advisable to take smaller numbers, but have it more often. When we can expect next recruitment process before election? Uh, well, as, as I said, September. you can you know very soon. Very, very soon, as I said, you know, like uh, since last year itself, uh, you know, our honorable CM particularly himself has been pursuing that and then every discussion we have. So the, as a result of that, you have, you're seeing what we have finished today and you'll see another batch coming in very, very shortly. Yeah. Uh, the triple one, the only group one, the group one. Group to the Dean to Leandi. Group to Kotha the Osnar. Adi Chaplemu, I put it's under uh, uh, the process. Uh, I, 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 100, uh, I uh, paper uh, media or one thousand or twelve hundred uh, uh, And uh, group one Logoda will be more than hundred. Ani Ankunam. Hmm? Should be more than 100. Uh, yes, more than 1,000 posts for the group two. Less than group one is separate. I think group two there will be 1,000 or maybe more. Similarly, group one will be at least 100, if not more. Hmm? So, at last. Less than it. Yeah, there's a process. Is see there are some, uh, uh, part of the challenge which. Uh, the recruitment process public service commission faces is litigations ee litigations varana kuda chaala varaku delay ayipothunaru so daan kosam kuda manam pratyekam yerpadlu kuda we have we have uh, we have undertaken uh, court cases deal cheyadam and then within the organization uh, subcommittee create cheyadam mana commission members kuda and the commission staff, Chala, close the monitor, JC, the uh, uh, while litigations neko handle jayadam. So, this is also part of that uh, process. Akadakutti litigations unai. Very soon we'll overcome that as well. Okay, friends? Yeah. Sorry, Andy? Assistant professors, the uh, 2020. Uh, I think Manam recruit chase in the week, 2020 is that? Yeah. Yeah. This is already, uh, I think it's, uh, it's 2020 posts of Western professors, which APPSC will be conducting the exams. Yeah. So, uh, this should not get affected. And the advanced guys, stay the, but I don't want to comment on that. But to my mind, the process is ongoing. It has nothing to do with uh, the electoral process. Uh, it should not get affected. 
అది నోటిఫికేషన్ యాప్షే వాళ్ళు ఇస్తారు యాప్షే అండ్ ది యూనివర్సిటీస్ వాళ్ళు ఇస్తారు అయితే మనం రిక్రూట్మెంట్ ప్రాసెస్ చేసుకుంటాం అది చాలా ఒక వారం పది రోజులు రావచ్చు ఓకే సో థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వీఆర్ లుకింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ వెరీ సూన్ టు మీట్ అగైన్ జై హింద్